everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek, coming to you from the shop today, and we are getting a sneak peek look at the new E-Flight F-18 Blue Angels paint scheme. Uh, personally, I love the Blue Angels. I love the look of it on the airplane, um, and so I was really happy to hear about this. Uh, and I did actually do a full review on the gray one uh, that you can see I have a link in the corner. I'm going to cover a lot of what I did there, um, including control throw, CG, that kind of stuff, but I'd never really covered fully the assembly, and I actually did a couple modifications on this airframe because it's a Blue Angels. It's not supposed to have weapons, so I removed all of that, so I wanted to show you guys what I did there if you want to do the same thing. Now, in terms of this particular airplane, you know, electronics, power system, uh, they're all the same. The airplane flies just the same. It's fantastic. One of the other distinctions with this offering, okay, so you've got the bind and fly, but they're now offering an R plus in the Blue Angels paint scheme as well, which is totally new for Horizon and E-Flight. So uh, if you've got an 80 millimeter power system laying around looking for an airframe, uh, this is a great option. And personally, I really love how this airplane flies. It was one of my favorites from last year, and so I'm really enjoying it again. So let's talk through the assembly a little bit. The airplane assembles extremely simply. It goes together with just very few screws uh, in true E-Flight fashion. It's really well engineered in that sense. It starts with installation of the horizontal stabilizers, and it is a unique installation here on this airplane. First of all, you do have to install the control horn into the stabilizer and that actually engages a nub on the control horn on the servo itself in the airplane. So you want to slide the stabilizer on fully, make sure it engages that nub well and completely in the control horn. Uh, and then there's a collar that holds it in place. So make sure that that collar is on tight. There's no lateral play in the stabilizer whatsoever. You should be good. Personally, I have not had any problems at all. From there, it goes on to the vertical stabilizers, and those are just held in place with two screws. Uh, the nice thing is you have a selection of markings here. So I went with tail number seven because, you know, the two seaters were always number seven. So what that means is you have spare sticker pieces in the blue color that you can use to cover up screw holes and things like that. So once I have the vertical stabilizers on, I cut a little squares uh, in the blue from the spare markings uh, to cover up the screw holes that hold the dorsals on. So once those are on, wings slide into place over the wing spar and those are just held in place by two screws, super simple. Uh, and so you just want to make sure that you fully seat of course the servo connections in the wing root. Uh, and then from there it goes on to your radio setup. Now in the process of assembling the airplane I did a couple modifications. First of all the exhaust nozzles come in a molded black. Well I painted those so I masked off the nozzles with frog tape uh, and then from there I used Alclad dark aluminum to paint the base color and I masked off for the light aluminum base that is so characteristic on the F-18 nozzles and I just painted that with Alclad light aluminum all through the airbrush I'm using a Grex airbrush it's fantastic so from there once I had done that I did a little bit of a wash with some acrylic pigment uh, raw umber is the color from uh, Folk Art is the brand uh, and then I just did a little shading with black nothing to heavy because it's very easy to overdo that kind of stuff. And then to finish out the nozzle modification, I installed a center burner, simulated afterburner. Uh, this is my 32 millimeter in-runner design. Looks awesome in the airplane uh, and really adds a little extra dimension in the air. So then once I had done that, I also cut off all of the missiles. Okay, so the body comes with missiles on the belly and then of, of course the wing tips have the missiles molded in as well. For the belly missiles I just simply cut them off with an X-Acto knife, uh, sanded it square uh, and then just filled in as I needed. I'm using Sherwin-Williams shrink-free spackle for that. I sanded it square and then uh, sealed it up with some polycrylic and then painted over that with Tester's Model Master Blue Angel Blue. It's not quite an exact match. Uh, I could take a part from the airplane and get a color match, but it was close enough for what I wanted. And then from there on the wingtip missiles, the plastic connector pieces are actually installed backwards. Working on the wingtip missile rails, I ended up popping those free and switching them around. So they actually um, engage properly and look correctly at the wingtip. 
And I also, again, cut the missiles off. Uh, but in this case, since it's just a foam piece out there, I embedded a carbon rod uh, into each one. I used a Dremel to Dremel a slot in there, embedded the rod, just glued it in with CA, and then I used the Sherwin-Williams spackle to uh, fill it in uh, and sanded it square and flush to, to clean it all up, again with the polycrylic, uh, and then I just painted these with uh, Rust-Oleum yellow. The combination of removing the missiles, switching that plastic, piece around to get the installation correct and it really changed things a lot. I really like how it came out. Those were the modifications with the airplane all assembled man it really looks fantastic. I, I really like the Blue Angels paint scheme on it. You know it's one of those things you either love it or hate it and, and for me personally uh, I've always loved the Blue Angels. You know one of the things that really sets this model apart and, and same thing with the gray one is the landing gear. The landing gear are absolutely amazing on this airplane and it looks so awesome when you see it Coming in for landing with those gear hanging down, it just looks so characteristic of the F-18. That really is one of my favorite parts of the model. So with respect to the CG, uh, I'm flying the airplane uh, at 75 millimeters as measured from the wing root leading edge aft. Flies fantastically there. That coincides with where there's, there's this angle cut between the wing and the fuse. Uh, and so that corner equates perfectly to the CG. Now E-Flight recommends the Smart 6S 5000 pack. That works great in there. Uh, flight times are a little bit short so keep that in mind. You want to set your timer for about three minutes. Uh, also I'm using the Roaring Top 6250 pack. With that battery my timer is set for three and a half minutes uh, and so that's my indication to land and so in air time is about four minutes. Now in terms of the controls for the elevator I'm running 22 millimeters up and down with 8% expo. For the aileron, 10 millimeters up and down with 5% expo. For the rudder, 10 millimeters left to right with 20% expo and that helps desensitize the steering. Uh, and then for the flaps, I'm at 30 millimeters at partial flap and 45 millimeters at full flap. And there's a one millimeter and a three millimeter up elevator mix respectively with the flaps. It's really important to get that set. The airplane takes off easily with a partial flap setting. Uh, it takes a little bit more elevator if you're taking off with zero flaps. For, so keep that in mind. I do recommend taking off with partial flaps. It rotates really nice and easy that way. But I highly recommend getting your flap elevator mix set first before you start taking off with flaps. Uh, because otherwise you can run into problems if you don't have that set right. Now in terms of flying the airplane, I love how these E-Flight F-18s fly. Um, the, the gray one was one of my favorite jets last year and this one is really kind of becoming my favorite one this year. You know the way that the airplane maneuvers, the way that it flies around, uh, the, the power, just the whole package, it just looks really scale as it flies. It's got scale-like performance. It's got good speed. It's got great vertical performance. You can do a reverse Cuban 8 from takeoff should you choose. You know, I've been playing with roll on takeoff. The airplane has the power to do that. It's just one of those really nice scale flying type of jets. Uh, so if you're looking for a scale type of flying experience, this is a great option. Uh, I would love to play with, you know, a more scale control setup with you know the tailorons and the full span flaps so I may consider that at some point but I'm enjoying the stock setup for now the way that it's set up the way that it flies it is really good so you know you can go that direction uh, but it's not necessary now the airplane does come with external stores I didn't fly with it at all it, for the Blue Angel it just didn't make any sense to I did on the gray one, uh, you will notice a speed difference and the airplane does get quite a bit draggier. So keep that in mind. Uh, and so it, it flies really nice, clean, uh, and I really like it now with the weapons removed and all of that stuff. So, all right, let's take this out to the field, uh, give you guys a flight, show you what it can do, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap this up.
All right, so there we have the E-Flight F-18 in the Blue Angels colors. I love the color scheme. I love how this airplane flies. Uh, you do want to have some experience. Uh, it is not a beginner jet. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, you want to have some jet time under your belt. Uh, and those landing gear, man, you can't beat those. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at The RC Geek. Subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you at the field. It's the BA, right? The Blue Angel? Not the other. Bare ass. Moon Patrol? Is it blue on yellow or is it yellow on blue? That's what I want to know. Just like... A depends zebra. who painted it. Yeah, it depends who painted it. It's just like a, a zebra, is it white with black stripes or is it black with white stripes? That's, uh, you know?